Hello Virgo couples, this is your reading for January 2018. So, your overall, well, your oracle card, not overall card, is reconciliation. Okay? And it says someone from your past is returning to your life. For some of you, it is someone from your past that's returning in and rocking things up within your relationship. Okay? Um, for some of you, there's an old issue that's arising. Okay? Um, and it's just something that you're going to have to deal with. So, overall energy, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about you not wanting to deal with something. The thing that's interesting is I feel like you have it all in your hands. I feel like you have the power to deal with this. You have the, the juice, as they say, okay, to deal with this situation. But it's very interesting because it feels like you don't have the juice. It's like you're trying to figure out if it's worth it. Yes. Okay. So in the past, you had two cards fall out. The Justice in Reverse and the Five of Pentacles in the Upright. And I feel like Dylan, due to there being a problem with this relationship or situation in the past, um, this may have something to do with a Libra, that you feel abandoned. It, it, okay, so in the past you felt abandoned by this person. Like you needed them or you trusted them to be a certain way and they didn't end up being that way. It feels as though they kind of walked away from you. They didn't give you everything that was, I want to say, due to you. Um, I do, I dare say due to you. I'm zooming in a little bit. Sorry, guys. I dare say what was actually due to you as a human being, as a person, okay? I feel like they didn't give that to you. And that leaves you feeling a little rough about what's going on. Or this may not just be a Libra, this may just be someone or this particular person in your past that left you feeling this way, okay? So... In your present moment, you have the Three of Cups. This may be you dealing with friends, focusing on friends, trying to have more friends, friendships. Um, for some of you, you may also be doing some sort of third party activity that's not good. Okay, but do you? Okay. <laughs> well, that's what I see you doing. Giving more time to friends, another third party situation. Um, things that make you feel good because that's how you want to feel. And that's because it feels like you're not giving, you're not getting that particular love back. Um, they're not bringing that passion in or trying to revitalize what it is that you have had. So you're trying to find that love, that acceptance from somewhere else. And that's where this Three of Cups comes in. This could be also you just spending time with your family, you know? Okay. I also noticed that I say okay a lot in my readings when I was playing one back. And I'm really going to try to stop saying that. So, <laughs> Queen of Wands. There may be a fire sign that's involved in your life right now. This is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is extremely confident that they can get you. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. They're extremely confident that they can have you. The problem is you aren't sure about this person. There's something about this person that brings up old feelings about someone or old feelings, period. And you're trying to decide what to do with that. Um, it could be that you have some codependent energy on a water sign. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? Um, that just isn't right, 
okay this person just isn't right this person is a little manipulative um i feel like they don't know whether they're coming or going that's what i'm getting with this card um i heard trying to make everyone happy that's what i heard so I almost feel like you're confronting your energies about two different people for most of you actually which is interesting because this is the couples reading so this person may have maybe coming in it's interesting because both of these are queen energies one person is upright which means that I feel like if anyone the fire sign or that person embodying that fire energy is the one that you're is are with at this moment but the person that's coming in or that you're having reoccurring thoughts about is the water energy but this air sign i feel like they just set up your whole situation like they're from your past but there's still residual energy from all the, the crap that they put you through virgo that that's what i'm getting it may not be that sign, okay? It may just be that particular energy. I really don't like to say signs, but some, you know, people request it a lot. So you get in the habit as a reader of doing it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. I notice that in my own readings as well, you know? Okay. So. I feel like you're embodying this energy of taking risks. And this is not necessarily good for you. It's not bad either. But you have to be careful about what type of risks, 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 I couldn't say it, risks you're taking, Virgo, okay? You have to be careful about that. Um, you have to make sure that these are risks that are actually going to go the long haul, that have a vision. You know, and they're not just, well, I guess I can do it. I'll see what happens. That's what's important, is to realize that there is something that can come of this. Yes. That you'll be able to work together. Go on dates. Figure out if this is a person you really want to be around. You know, get to know this person. Are you going to work well together? This is what's important for you to do. It's not basing it so much off of feeling and emotion for you as much as it's balancing it off of do we work well together? Like, honestly. I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign and that is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you kind of want this person to go away. You want this to end because you feel like they're not mature enough for you. Um, they're not following through on what they say that they're going to do. You just don't want them in your life. You want them gone so you can start something new. Okay? You have all these new opportunities and all this new energy and passion that you want to express. And it just seems like this person's in the way. Or this energy of this young person. If you're dating someone, they may have a young child that seems to get in the way of the growth. Um, or they, they're not able to move towards you because of that. In your environment, you have the emperor. This could be a fire sign. Um, this could be a father as well. Like I said, like I was getting in that energy there. Um... It's very interesting because I'm hearing that it has something to do with your friends. There's a person that is attached to your friends. They're either attached to your friends or your friends talk about this person a lot. Um, about them being controlling. About them trying to overtake the whole relationship, the whole situation. But you're being on top. 
you've already made the decision that you're going to be on top. They're not going to be on top. You're going to be on top. But they have made the decision for you. It's it's almost like they really want you. They're really they're really coming towards you. You are the thing on their mind, okay? You just seem very stable, very structured, very in control of things. You know, you're clever, you're you embody a stability that they want or that they're attracted to. They're very determined to get you. Um, I feel like they're a little bit controlling because of this, that they've made this immediate decision for you. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the 1st to the 15th. You have the 9 of Pentacles. And this is you not making any particular decisions. Um, this is interesting because this is a couple's reading, but it is so single feeling, okay? But especially with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like you're focusing on yourself, your own goals, your own beginnings, what it is that you want, these opportunities, becoming clear on which opportunity will actually last for you. That's what you're doing from the 1st to the 15th. The 15th to the end of the month, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And this is that, can that Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you may be dealing with, okay? And I feel like that you're facing the fact that this person is not for you. This person is not perfect. This person is no one to you. You know, um, they're moody, they're all over the place. What is it that you can do with that in your life? Like, how does that help you? How, what, why? You know, like, this is the honest answer that I'm getting from that, right? So, right, you're getting that clarity, especially with this Ace of Swords. That's that clarity of that you need to recuperate from this whole energy, from this back and forth, from these years or months of dealing with this person. Like, what? Why? That's what you're dealing with. Now, your outcome, you have the Four of Cups, okay? So the Four of Cups in your outcome tells me that you're starting to see things differently. To me, this, this is a more change of focus type of thing. You're thinking of relationships more on a spiritual level. Like who can I balance with? Who can I see myself with? Not who is it that I really want to be with. So you have an opportunity to be with someone that's like a soulmate or you're looking to be with your soulmate. And that's what you're trying to see now. It's not about who can I just be with. Who am I comfortable with? Because I feel like you've dealt with this before. And that's what this energy was in your past. Where you felt like you were kind of missing something. Okay? Um, and there was an injustice done to you. Because you almost did that injustice on yourself. Alright? But now, at the, by the end of this month, you are looking into real relationships. Real stable relationships. And you're not going to fight anymore. Okay? It's like, oh, well, we don't see eye to eye this way. Or it's not exactly the way I wanted it to be. But but I'll keep pushing. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay? You're paying attention to all the things you didn't pay attention to before. Because you were trying to focus on the things down here that you did have in common. But it's like Spirit was trying to tell you the whole picture. The picture as a whole doesn't fit. Right? So that's what you're focusing on. You're making better choices in love, especially here with this lover's card. All right. So thank you so much for listening. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link's in the description box below. And Virgo couples, I am going to do the extended reading on the three people you have around you. I'm going to do the air sign, 
which I thought was a Libra. I saw the Cancer in here, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, excuse me. Um, and I saw a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius as well. So I'm going to do all three of those because I feel like I did enough advice for you. How much advice can you possibly get, right? Um, but that's what I'm going to do for the extended readings. If you would like to more know more in-depth energy on those energies that are around you, just become a member. That link's in the description box below. And I will see you next month. Thank you so much for listening. I love you. Love and light.